Hello everybody and welcome to Let's Code for the Old Folks. My name's Les Thatcher. Moving on today, we're going to be looking at a, um, a new component um, and it's called an OLED, Organic Liquid Emitting Diode. Now there's many sorts out there. There's loads of them. Just going to show you uh, a few of them. I've got one here. It is a three inch, okay, a three inch. Okay, um, and this uses I2C, okay, the uh, communications protocol I2C. All right, we've got that one, and then we've got another one. This is a um, touch panel, so it's touch screen, slightly bigger. That's a five inch, all right. Okay, so I use them uh, in different little projects before that I've done on the channel. The one I've got here, I've just got this. This is a seven inch uh, OLED touchscreen. And on the back, attached my Raspberry Pi. I'm sorry about the, the blue. Uh, my Raspberry Pi, Pi um, oh, 4B. I'm going to use that in a project. I haven't decided what I'm going to do with this one yet. Um, I've, so I've only just got this screen and attached it. But I do have difficulty. Um, everything that you can see you know because i have to use um capture cards and stuff like that i need to set that up and i'm having a little problem with that but the one we're going to be looking at is this one okay we're going to be looking at it's the ssd 1306 oled all right let me just make sure you can see that yep now, um, I'm going to be using, obviously, because we're, we're doing MicroPython. All right. So, as you can see, um, let's, look at the, let's look at the drawing. Might as well um, table this up while we're at it, while we're looking at it. So, there's the drawing. All right. Now, some um, have SCK for clock. And others have SCL, all right? And they might be the opposite way around to what I've got. Now, I have put a, a um, link where you can get these, all right? I have put a link where you can get these. Let's just show you this link. There we go. I put a link down below and you can see there's uh, links and you can get them from AliExpress, eBay, Banggood, Amazon. All right. They're reasonably priced. You know, you can get, uh, as you get bigger, 2464s. All right. That's the size they got here. All right. 0 0.96 inch. All right. So that's where you can get them. All right. So, uh, go back to the bed. so let's look at the uh, the cabling, shall we? Right. So SCL, all right. Our SCL goes to um. Where have I gone? Our SCL right goes to a pin twenty two. All right, SCL or SCK. You can see it's SCK on this. Then our data, SDA, goes to pin 21. Remember, again, we're using I2C. All right. And as normal, we got our I volt or VCC. All right. And that goes to our 3.3 volts. And then we've got our ground. Goes to our ground chip. Okay. So, come back here. All right, so that is the cabling, and that is the OLED uh, organic liquid emitting diode that we're going to be using. Okay, so let's move on. Now, down in the description below, I've left a link to the library. All right, because the standard library for the SSD uh, 1306 OLED driver is not 
um, it's not naturally included in MicroPython um, operating system, right? So what you need to do is go to that link, all right? Highlight all of this, right click, copy, all right? I'm gonna minimize that. So open a, a new tab in um, Thony. So open your Thony IDE, integrated development environment, right click new. And that'll bring up a new untitled um, tab. Right click and then paste. This is the library that we need for our OLED. Right, you can do what you uh, did last time by getting, I don't know if you remember, but this is hashtag means to comment. It doesn't actually write to the, um, to our ESP32. Right, and this is both for the both communication protocols, I2C and SPI. Try to use I2C when you can because it's the easiest one to use. All right, only uses um, really two two pins, whereas SPI uses more than two pins. All right. So once you've uh, copied that file, and then you want to save as. And on here, you want MicroPython device, right? And here is all your saved libraries, all right? Plus your boot, boot, which is your main op um, um, MicroPython software. Save it as SSD, all right? All small case, why have I got caps lock? Get rid of that. SSD 1306. All right, 1306. Dot PY. Remember PY for the Python extension. All right, and then click OK. All right. I'm not going to OK mine because I've already saved it, right? And that will save the library to your ESP32. Right, I'm going to close, get rid of that and open this. What we're we going to do now, open that close. OK, we're now going to write our script, all right, or our sketch. Okay, pretty simple. So, so far, so good. I've got some new keyboards here and they're all a bit, a bit confusing. All right, now, from machine. All right, import pin. And it's capital P on the pin. All right, comma, base, soft, capital S on the soft. Capital I, Q, capital C. All right, so that's a from machine, input pin, comma, soft, capital I, Q, C. Okay. Import. SSD, small case, 1306. Right, so what's that doing? That's importing the SSD 1306 library. All right, from time. Import. Radio, so far, so good. It's up. Enter. Now what we need to do is um, do our pins, all right? So a pin assignment, SP32 pin assignment. So small i to C, uh, space equals C, 
space soft I2C and for capital I all two capital C brackets on or parentheses on SCL Gone wrong. Hang on, let me just I2C right brackets on ah, that's better. Parenthesis on SCL small case dash pin capital P on the pin brackets on 22 brackets off right comma. Then we want SDA, all small case, equals, see that, it's not a mistake if you see it. Okay. SDA equals pin, again, capital P on the pin, parentheses, It'll take a little while to get to, used to this new keyboard 21 and then brackets off brackets off all right okay. now we need to um tell our, our esp32 the size of our oled right so oled all small case underscore Right, underscore width, space equals space, one, two, eight. All right, one, two, eight. And it's OLED. Right. Underscore height. What can I spell today? H-E-I-G-H. Space equals 64, I believe, yep, yeah. 64. Enter. Then, OLED. Space equals space SSD 1306. 1305 SSD a 1306 dot capital SSD 1306 underscore capital I to C capital C Yeah, okay. Parentheses or brackets on. OLED width. OLED underscore width. Yeah, comma space. OLED height. OLED underscore height. Yeah, comma, space, small i, to c. Okay, let me just check that. OLED underscore width, comma, OLED underscore height, comma, i2c, brackets off. Right, that's that. Now, Let's go, what do we want to print? All right. So what do we want to print? Just for now, we go OLED dot text. Print series or brackets. Hello world. Keep to the simple. Yeah. 
And we'll put one exclamation mark. And quote. Comma. Naught or zero, comma, zero. That's the position we want it at. So zero from beginning to zero at the top. So row, column. The other way around. <laughs> column, row. Okay? Parenthesis off. And the next one. Enter that. And it's the same line again. So what we can do to make life easier, we can copy that. Enter. Right click. Paste. Enter. Right click. Paste. We can go back to here. All right. Come along. Back, backspace, two. And because we want it lower, all right, in the lower, lower row, put 10. All right, and we can come down to here, backspace that, on here, backspace that, and put that three. We want that at 20. All right. Got that. Have you got that? I haven't confused you. Enter, enter. Then it's OLED. All right, dot. Brackets on, brackets off. Okay. And that's our sketch. That is our sketch. All right. So we want to just quickly walk through. Um, we want to import our modules. All right, from machine, which is Soft I two C. Um, and we want to import our SSD thirteen o six and sleep. All right. And then we want to use the following line for using our ASP32 board. All right. So our pin assignment. All right. And then um, told you this before. We want to tell the um, ASP32 the size of our OLED. All right. Okay. And after we've created the object called OLED, okay, this is um, a display and this is the text we want to display, all right? So we're going to go File, Save As, on MicroPython device. I'm going to call, I always call my main, all right? If you want to save each individual project that you're doing, save it onto your computer. You can always pull it across later and name it what you like. All right. You don't have to do the same as me. Then OK that. You want to overwrite? Yes. OK. So I've overwritten. And now shall we run it? So we've got no uh, issues. 9.11. Let me look at line 11. OLED. Text. Brackets on. Right, okay. I wonder if anybody saw the mistake. Whenever we want to print, it has to be within quote. We need to put a quote in all of these. All right, let me stop it. My mistake. Should have seen that. Right, save it. Let's try again. Fingers crossed. Right, okay. Hey, okay, let's come across. 
and let's go to overhead hopefully you can see OLED with what we've written here all right with what we've written here okay so simple 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 let me just uh, show you um this so what we can do we can put in there hello world now uh, you <laughs> How are you today? Okay, let's file, let's save that. Okay, and let's run it. And there we go. Hello world, how are you today? Great stuff, great. So as I say, a simple, uh, simple, simple little program, but uh, something we're going to need because we're going to be moving on from this in our next session. Um, I hope you found the uh, the session useful. Um, I say just to remind you, if you haven't got your components, I do have a link down below where you can get the main components and then. As we go through new um, modules, I'll leave you the link where to get them. All right. So thanks again. Hope you enjoyed it. Please give us a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. And I'll see you in the next session. Stay safe. Bye bye.